Hello, this is How To Bob, and this is a multi-part video, day one on how to change your tub shower over to just a walk-in shower. As you can see, we have the tub and the shower both together in this bathroom, and we're going to take the tub out and just tile in a new shower. So we're going to get started by taking down the shower curtain rod. And we're going to remove all the hardware from the shower curtain rod. And next I'm going to take the faucet handle off. And then inside there's an Allen head that will remove the handle. Take the cover plate off. And then I'm going to remove the spout. Just turn it counterclockwise. And eventually it will come out. Now this is a Delta monitor. A lot of them come out this way. Some of them are a little different. So take a look at it. And then I want to take out my overflow. It just pops off and then I can unscrew my plumbing from the tub. And last but not least, I have my drain. Just put my drain tool in and loosen up my drain. And I can take the drain all the way out. I'm going to draw a line around the tub here. This is where I want to cut my line. So I'm going to use my multi-tool here and I'm going to cut along this line so that I can remove the drywall around the tub. I use my multi-tool here and pull out the drywall where I scored the line with my, my multi-cutting tool. And I do that on all three walls and I got a nice straight line. Now you'll see the stud is not where I want it to be. I want it to be right here in the line. So I'm going to take my oscillating multi-tool here and cut right on the line. I want the line to be halfway through the stud. That way I can put my cement board right up next to the drywall. Now it's time to take the tub out. So this is a fiberglass tub so I can cut where I need to just to remove it and break it wherever I can and it comes out real easy. Just break it off into pieces and then I'm left with the empty hole where the new shower is going to go. Now in this bathroom we're going to also tile the entire floor so it's time to start taking off doors I take the closet door here off and if the main door to the bathroom is in the way you might want to take that off also and then I'm going to start peeling off the linoleum and then I take and cut the molding there's caulking around the top of the baseboard molding and once I get that cut I can pry off my baseboard I'm probably going to reuse that so I want to take that off gently and try to save as much of it as I can and once I get all of my molding off. I go around the whole room, take off every piece of molding. I can take off my little, it's a 1 8 inch Luon that's stapled in. I'll take that up and that'll get me down to the subfloor and I can start back with my new subfloor. So this is our first day. Stop back and check us out on the second day of our job. I'm How To Bob. Thanks for watching.